we're at the WA Sporting Car Club event here at Wanneroo Raceway. Uh, now, I wanted to speak to you today about your regularity racing sure. and the man that you've named that in honour of. Can you tell me about Rob Denny? Certainly. Look, I had the pleasure, the honour of working with Rob for many, many years. Um, from the very first time I was on the committee here, I was with Rob. Mm -hmm. uh, Rob loved his regularity. He's the one that uh, changed it, where it became known as Time Challenge. So we modernised it, uh, and the idea was to get more people involved in it. Uh, but Rob was the stalwart of it. Without Rob, there wouldn't have been the regularity as we know it today, or time challenge as we know it today. So I've been led to believe that um, Rob was one of the um, instrumental movers and shakers that helped get the club established here, is that correct? Absolutely. Rob had uh, 50 years for the club, mm -hmm. I think, thereabouts. Um, wouldn't be about much short of that, but yeah, no, Rob, I think, uh, was here at the very first race meeting. So, which goes back to 1968. Okay. And this event named in his honour, obviously, because of the amount of effort and um, toil he's put into that? I don't think there was anyone that disliked Rob. I think Rob was one of those people where he could communicate with everyone and work with everyone, and everyone liked and respected him. That's very, very rare. Extremely rare. Extremely. But uh, that's truly the way he was. Okay, so you've brought your car down. I yep. heard that Lewis Hamilton drove this. Is that correct? Well, not this one, but he, he drove one of these. Uh, and, uh, yeah, this is the, um, to me, the uh, perfect track day weapon. You can drive it to the track, have a day out in it, and drive it home afterwards. It's a gorgeous car. How long have you owned it? Not very long, only a few months. Are you loving it? Absolutely. It's the most useful car. I say useful... Uh, <laughs> Probably foolishly, but the most useful car I've ever had. In what way? Uh, I can actually enjoy driving it. I've had some other nice cars in my life, but none of them have been as satisfying as this one, where I can get in it, I can drive it, I can bring it to the racetrack, I can take my wife out to dinner in it, all those sort of things, where others are just uh, too hard to live with. And the colour is immaculate. This was their like launch colour, it was. wasn't it? It's Hell Green Magno. Magno is uh, flat or matte. Uh, and the Hell Green is named after the, hell, the Green Hell, uh, which is the Nürburgring. Perfect. This is gorgeous. And it's got, the, it's got lovely stitching, beautiful yeah, the, interior. Yeah, contrasting yellow stitching, uh, everything. So, uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, to me, a, a, a beautiful car. Absolutely beautiful. It's, it, it looks stunning. How are you going with the time trialling? Oh, look, it's good. Uh, today's a bit of a, uh, an odd day, um, weather-wise. Uh, it is peculiar. Yeah, the track temperature uh, isn't as good. It's uh, about dialing in with a time that you're comfortable with. Mm -hmm. uh, we're dialed in today probably a bit slower than we've dialed in the past, 68s, mm -hmm. uh, which it's a uh, comfortable drive at the moment. Uh, okay. And the track seems to be a bit greasy. I think that's from the use it had last weekend. Yeah, it got a fair bit of abuse last yeah. weekend, should we say? Um, great event, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was. Um, so... I want to talk to you a little bit more about time trialling because I come from like a boaty world okay. where we do um, time trialling with uh, power boats and, and it is very, very technical. Yes. Um, I imagine that that translates directly to what's happening uh, on it, track it with is. regularity. It is. It's about consistency, mm -hmm. you know, dialling it at a time that you're comfortable at repeating. Mm -hmm. But then again, you know, what you set in your qualifying period doesn't necessarily mean the same conditions will allow you to easily set that again in your first trial run. Yeah, as the track comes around yeah, or, or goes the away. Yeah, goes up or it might rain or something like that. So yeah, there's okay. things that can get in the way of it. Um, and so it's very strategic then. Absolutely. Uh, disciplined. Disciplined. Very disciplined. Yeah, because <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> uh, <laughs> sometimes you, I, I base it on uh, the speed I'm doing down the straight. I have a look over uh, just briefly at the speedometer. And, uh, you know, I pretty much know that that's how I'm dialing or regulating my speed. Okay. So, you know, if I get, like, uh, if you're going a bit too fast, I think I'm going too fast. If uh, it's um, too slow, well, nothing you can do about that. Oh, well, yeah. you've just got to drive to conditions, don't yes, you, without it, what you're comfortable in your car with. Absolutely, Bridget. Good stuff. Oh, this is awesome. What a great field and what a great bracket. It is. It's a, uh, look, it's a great way, uh, especially uh, a lot of people buy cars that are track day capable mm -hmm. but never use them out in the track. Now, that just doesn't apply to AMGs and the like. Uh, do you have any of the Ford Mustangs, the HSV Commodores, uh, Yeah, Sup anything Subarus, that is comfortable uh, above the yeah, Nissans, posted yeah. speed limit. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, so you, know, you can actually use your car responsibly. And, you know, kind of use it the way uh, or fit for the, pur the purpose that it was uh, built for. Yeah. That makes a, a lot more sense to use the whole rev range. I mean... It does. You know, it does. It's there for a reason, so yep. this is a, a great example of where to use it. Yeah, absolutely. 
Uh, like I said, it was a track day car. They built them for track days. Uh, it's just nice to uh, go use on a track day. I think oh. probably has more track day use than any other use. Also great for shopping and taking the wife to dinner. Absolutely. Fantastic. Thanks so much for having a Thank chat with me. Thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you.